So week six in Spain on the lockdown. It's the 24th of April. My name's Sean. I live in the southeast of Spain, the Costa Colada, the Murcia region, just outside the town of Maveron. Big urbanization called Camposol. Now this video, everybody, is about Camposol. It's not about the rest of Spain. If you want to find out what's going on in the rest of Spain, there's some good sites. I've got Spectrum FM Costa Almeria. It's a Facebook group. Very good information. He does information about Spain and the UK. Two YouTube sites I watch a lot are Spain Speaks. He comes from Madrid, so obviously it's mostly about the Madrid area, but he does cover the whole of Spain. Uh, and he, do, he puts up videos every two days. And there's a new guy on the track. <laughs> He's been doing a Facebook page uh, for a couple of weeks now. He calls him by his own name, which is Adrian Cochrane's. I'll put the information below the video in the description, just in case I pronounce that wrong. But he does an everyday uh, report on, what, on what's going on in Spain. And when I say what's going on in Spain, this guy and the other guy, they actually um, check up on, they can speak Spanish virtually, they, they check up on the Spanish news as well and what's going on, on television. So we get a more idea, and with Adrian, he's from the Mercia region anyway, so it's more related to us as well, which is even better. So yeah, this video is all about what's going on around campus cell. Now unfortunately, because I'm in lockdown, I can't go very far. I can go to our local supermarket, which is only just across the road on B. Now I'm stationed, station, I live, I'm living on A. Uh, so I've got my own shop that I go across the road to Allen's. Uh, which is minute, two minute walk, and I, I usually go there. But last during the week, I actually went over to B to see what's open because I haven't been. <laughs> I haven't been out really, uh, other than taking Bonnie for a walk, which is around the park really. I haven't been out what's open because past week or so, Spain was as relaxed a little bit for non-essential businesses. They're allowed to go back to work. Now, last week it was builders uh, and pool cleaners, and this week some of the shops have opened up. So I just thought I'll just give you what I've seen so far. And if any of you shop owners are out there, if I missed you out, and or you want to say that you aren't open or you're doing deliveries, fine, because I can, I can only get what I can see what's going on. Now, what I've done, I've done some video snippets as well. So I've gone around A first, just to um, see what's going on. Uh, and usually during the day, especially during the week, at the front of the um, shopping area, everybody's usually out there sitting out, having a meal. It's completely empty, isn't it? Such a shame. Uh, and when I walk Bonnie, the gardens, I think we don't really appreciate the gardening group that do the voluntary work around the area. Because uh, by just looking at the gardens, because they, they obviously can't go out and uh, weed them and look after them. Looking at this video now, <laughs> they're a bit overgrown and it, you don't really notice it. I, I didn't really notice it really. It's, an, it's only now when I see all these weeds growing up through, you really appreciate the garden group. So give them a lot of support guys when we get back to, when we get back to some sort of normality. So uh, anyway, I've been going out with Bonnie. This is another video early in the morning. We, we usually go out about half past seven, me and Bonnie. Uh, it's nice to see the sun out. But yet again, it's been another week before, sort of up and down. It's been still really cloudy. You know, we, the sun does pop out every now and again, but not like some places I've seen. <laughs> Even the UK has been getting much better weather in here from what I've seen anyway. Um, yeah. So anyway, I'll just show you some other snippets. Now the off-license on A, they're open during the day. I can't remember the name, but most people that I don't, I haven't, you know what, I haven't even been in that place yet, the off-license, because um, I, don't, I don't really drink. What drink I do need, I'll get an Allen shot. But yeah, the off-license is open, which is good. The butchers, the English butchers, I don't think a lot of people realize that they're open. Um, they're, they're open on Tuesdays up to 
Saturdays from 9.30 to 2.30, as far as I can see, that's what the sign's saying on there. Unless they, they do open different times, I don't know. I know my wife popped in there during the week to get some chicken and that. So yeah, check out the English uh, <laughs> butchers. Support them, you know, because it is a hard time at the moment trying to make a living. The Ferra Terra. It's a bit of a, I always thought, when I first heard about the Ferra Terra, I was thinking about ferrets going down a hole after rabbits. But apparently it's not. It's the equivalent to a DIY store. And on Monday, they were open. Now, my wife obviously wanted me to go in there uh, to get some uh, chemicals to clean the pool with. Well, unfortunately, <laughs> I didn't. I said, no, nah, I'm not going there because when I went past there, there was a massive queue right around the corner. And I thought, no, nah, I'll, I'll wait until it dies off probably in the week. Anyway, he had so many people going in there on Monday that he had to shut. So now I put a sign up now and that, what he's doing now is he will still do stuff. So if you phone him up, if you know, obviously know what you're after, as long as it's over 20 euros, he will deliver it to you. So that, that's good. I'll leave that bit there just for a little bit longer so you can get his email and his phone number down. I then went down towards the business center on A because um, unfortunately, because I've got a problem with my leg, I can't cut my toenails. And my wife <laughs> refuses to cut my toenails. So I, this is going back when I was in the UK as well. I used to get a lady come around, and, uh, a nurse, uh, a chiropodist here to cut my nails. Anyway, Natalie, uh, who runs the clinic on the business center, they're not open. I've popped into the business center. Uh, the reception's still open. But she said to me, the only thing that's open at the moment, nothing else is allowed to be open, uh, is the physio. Now the insurance, Ibex, they're still running, but obviously online, I think Julie's doing it. Uh, you can phone her up still during the day. So they're still open, but not the, sh the office is not open. Uh, obviously the doctors, I thought maybe the doctors might be open, but they're not open apparently. Now obviously next door, the pharmacy, is ever so busy. Now, I know this week they did get a shipment of uh, face masks. I think they were selling them. And I know even on in Consume, I think during the week, Sue Tinkler had gone in there and was um, handing out free uh, face masks from the council, which is good to see. Obviously, the face masks only the last year day, but I think she was doing it for a couple of days. But I don't think it's, I think it's finished at the moment. Footbridge over onto B. Uh, when I went past the garage, I know the garage is still open, but, but to some people, they're, they're a little bit confused because uh, where you've got the, the big stand with the fuel prices on it, there's no fuel prices at all on it. I presume they're on the pumps, but the, the little kiosk uh, is open. You can't go in the, sh you obviously can't go into the shop. So there's a few people there. I mean, so, you know, I mean, you know, I, I got in the car to, uh, today, was it? No, <laughs> God, got in the car yesterday. It's right, my brain's half dead sometimes. Got in the car yesterday, uh, and I've driven it for so long, I just had to fill up. We got a couple of dustbins that we put rubbish in as well, and I put the dustbins in the back of the car, put them in the big bins. But yeah, I, I did forget, you know, I didn't forget totally, but I haven't driven the car for a long time. You know, you get that sort of blank spell, don't you? Or do you? I don't know. So I've also looked at the Money Exchange, uh, Currency Direct, great company, I use them. If you mention my name, you won't get a discount, but I, I might get something out of it. <laughs> but um, unfortunately, the, the office is shut, but yet again, I'll put this little sign up. You can still phone them. Obviously, you can go online, so you don't really need to go into the office, but um, there's a telephone number there as well. I then pop next door to the garage because garage. I then pop. As you can see, I don't. I don't write any of this out, guys. It's just coming straight out of my mouth. So this is why it gets a little bit mixed up sometimes. I then pop next door to the uh, bank. They call Caxa Bank. So I'm going to pronounce that right. Um, I thought maybe they'd be open, but apparently not. You can only um, uh, book appointments. Um, I put a little sign here as well. I took that sign as well so you, you, know, you have to book an appointment because obviously there's still people <coughs> buying property or selling property so they still need bank stuff to be done 
So it's nice to know that that's going on as well. Uh, and then I walked up the top. Uh, I, was, I, I didn't really want to go in the consum, and anyway, I, I saw a queue out there, so I didn't. So yeah, the queuing outside the consum. <clears throat> still, I still hear it's, uh, you can get everything you need. It's still fully well stocked, which is good. Ever so friendly staff in there. You know, it's what I like about consum. I then went up to the main shopping area. Um, the opticians were shut, but opposite the place, all pets was open. Now, I presume they're probably only open in the morning. I then ran around the corner to just get this right, because sometimes I get them wrong. It's quick save, is it? <laughs> yes, it is, isn't it? Just shows you how much I go over there. Anyway, yeah, the quick, the quick save supermarket's open. Get all your stuff in there. Now, they're open during the day. Uh, which is good to see. Now, all the rest of the shops, uh, Euronix, now I believe with Euronix, they're shut, but obviously if your oven packs up or you need a, your fridge, say your washing machine packs up, you can still phone them online uh, and the guys will come out and put it in for you and take away the old one. But yeah, the, the actual shop's shut. Liz's calf shut, which is such a shame. Uh, Compi serve. Now I pay my monthly fee at Combi Serve every month. Now last month I had to phone up. So you can phone up online, pay it on the over line, which is good. Uh, just across from it is the chip shop, Ocean 7. Uh, now I written that down because it's a bit more complicated for me. Because <laughs> it's Ocean 7's Fish and Chips. Now they've got a Facebook page guys because they're actually doing uh, home deliveries because they do a takeaway service, obviously, and it's only open from Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturdays between 3 o'clock and 8 p.m. Now, I did see on the website that it, the last orders they take is at 7 p.m. Now, and if you go onto their Facebook page, I will put that below as well. There's, there's a menu there, uh, and then when you actually go onto their Facebook page, the messenger thing will come up at the side, and I'll ask what you want. So yeah, and to help them out, um, just give them the correct address because I know what it's like. I used to be a delivery driver. It's a nightmare if you just give them the address and forget to put the number down. You know, just give them all the information you need, guys. <laughs> and there's a great selection of food you can check there. Now, I want to short off, think because it's only up until Saturday, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, so it's Thursday, Friday, and Saturdays. Yeah, support them, guys. They do nice fish and chips. And I think that's about it, really. <clears throat> I didn't want to make this too long. I did, the main thing is really, there's a, thankfully nobody on campus. So as far as I know, um, has gone down with it, which is the main thing. So, oh yeah, I just thought I'd also mention, when I go back to the information sites, when I said about Spectrum, Spain Speaks, and Adrian Cockins, uh, that obviously Expat and Mazarin's got a Facebook group as well. Uh, you're most welcome to join it. I'll try and keep stuff up to date on there as well. Sometimes I'll put something on there you're not going to see on my YouTube channel as well. So yeah, please check it out, guys. Now, next Thursday, I'll be doing the live Q&A, which is going to be half past nine, because I found out on a Thursday in the UK, it's the day that they, well, in the evening, they say thank you to the NHS at eight o'clock. So that's why I've changed it to um, 8.30 for the UK, guys. But the main time is 9... God, I'm going to get you confused again, aren't I? So next Thursday at 9.30 p.m. Spanish time <laughs> is that I'll be doing the live show. And I'll be doing the live show every two weeks now. So um, I hope you look forward to that. I did my first Q&A uh, over a week ago. I had a bit of a problem um, setting it all up. Some people was watching it, you know, it's, it's always the same. When, you, when you're trying out something new, it doesn't always go to plan anyway. Thankfully, it, a lot of people come, I think had about 90 people popping in in the end, which is pretty amazing. But unfortunately, I think another thing that's what will be happening, I have to keep an eye on this, during the live show, uh, a lot of people were saying the picture quality was really poor. Even though they could hear me sound-wise perfectly, the picture was really rubbish. And in the end, I had, I had, over an hour, I had to stop because people were saying that it, it was going so pixelated. And I think mainly that's to do with the streaming that's going on at the moment. 
um, because of obviously there's a lot of people working from home now and they've slowed down the streams for YouTube and Netflix. So just bear that in mind as well, guys. But like I always say, please, if you say the picture's pants, just let me know because I, I can't see it at my end. Anyway, as I always say, guys, got to keep watching or you're going to miss something. <laughs> I wish you well. You stay safe. And hopefully in the next month or so, uh, we can start to go out a little bit more because it's driving me nuts. <laughs>